I want to talk about EPIRBS, emergency position indicating radio beacon. Here's a, a real EPIRB, which I've decommissioned. And as we can see here, it has a serial number, an ID code, and MMSI number. And the serial number, we need to register it um, when we buy our EPIRB. So if it is set off in an emergency, the details that we registered are available to the rescue services. So what we can do to set it off is all we do is pull the pin and that's it, turn on if it had batteries in. And then the signal would go from here, 406 megahertz, up to the uh, satellite and then down to the land user station and relayed back to the Coast Guard. So this is the Jotron. I want to show you another one. This is a dummy one. This is a McMurdo um, 406 GPS EPIRB, so it locates your position with GPS. So for this one, take it off, take it out its housing, and to set this one off, just push it across and it's on. This is a SART, which stands for Search and Rescue Radar Transponder. If we wish to test it, we twist it to the test function here. So we twist this down below, hold it for 10 seconds, and wait for the red light to show. To activate it, it would have had a plastic clip across here, and we break the plastic clip and pull this across, and it's now activated. So, to extend it, we pull the end off, and the handle extends, and then that will go as high as we can in the life raft. So there's an image here of how we mount it. So we mount it as high as we can with a stick in the life raft, or through the uh, inspection hatch in the life raft. So this is Search, Search and Rescue Radar Transponder.